Ellis here again with Real Health Professionals. And uh, real quick, when we dive in, before I dive into high blood pressure, uh, just to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, again, I'm a wellness expert along with my wife. I have a, we have two wellness clinics here in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and uh, we've had the opportunity in the past probably eight years to travel the world, work with people in their health, and teach them about the principles of health and wellness. Uh, we had the opportunity to go to the Olympics in 2012 and work with athletes. And uh, we've just had this opportunity to have uh, these clinics where we get to work with thousands of patients in our clinics and learn more and more every single day on what health is, how the, or, or what it means to be healthy, and how we can help people get to a higher level. Okay, our, our professional training is in chiropractic, and so we've been eight years of schooling and then had the opportunity uh, to really just work with patients and, and see them as family and, 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 and see great results with them. And, and so now that this Facebook Live concept is here, I want to share that information with you. It's so easy to get out there. My, my passion is to get this information in your hand, but then also at, uh, take you out of, act, out of awareness, understand what the action is or what the um, information is, and into action. Actually start doing something about it, okay? So make sure, hey, make sure you share this information with people. These videos can be very powerful, even if it's one person that sees it, changes something in their life, it can make a massive difference for them. Hey, it's that ripple effect, right? One little seed, one little rock in the water can make a massive impact in the world. Imagine this, is if everyone started pulling themselves out of the, you know, the current healthcare system of pills, drugs, and medicine, and into a real healthcare system of wellness care and prevention, then um, it would change our whole entire country. Literally, it would change our finances. We wouldn't be in debt anymore because the number one debt in our country is from medicine. And so, I mean, I know this. I just, I just got a, we just got our medical bills from having a baby, and it was um, upwards of twelve, fifteen thousand dollars. I mean, insane. So, prevention, right? We, if we can keep ourselves out of that medical system, we're going to be healthier. We're going to save lots of money. They've shown that people under long-term chiropractic care. Actually, this is the studies. Long-term chiropractic care have lower pharmaceutical costs, less medications, live a longer, healthier life, and they're very happy with their health. So, I'm going to dive into this today. We're going to dive in now. Now, I'm going to talk about high blood pressure today. Um, this one's very personal to me. It's something in my family over the years, um, genetically predisposed to. A lot of my family members have had high blood pressure. I've had multiple family members who have had heart attacks. And so heart health and this, this concept of arterial art, arteries and vessels and everything else in the body is something that's shown to be weak in my family. And so that doesn't mean I'm going to get it, but it's something I can, I can be predisposed to. So I want to dive into the things you can do to start to crush high blood pressure, whether you're someone that has it or you're trying to prevent it. Okay, I'm going to focus on the supplements today. Okay, So there's lots of things you can do. Obviously, eating good and exercising is key. right? If you're, if you're taking supplements but you're eating like junk, and you're not exercising, you're not moving, the truth is they're probably not going to work because it it's all needs to come together or they're not going to last very long, right? And, and if you're just saying, okay, well, I'm going to take a medication for it, the problem is, is you're artificially lowering your blood pressure and causing all kinds of health problems, right? When we artificially lower our blood pressure, we're, you're, you're blocking your body's ability to adapt and in return, you get sicker and sicker, more meds, more pills, more things you have to take and then eventually it's the heart attack. So you don't wanna just cover up that symptom. If your blood pressure's out the roof, absolutely get the medication, but now let's figure out what's causing it and get it down. Typically, the cause of high blood pressure is gonna come from too much stress in the body and it causes to be in this constant sympathetic response causing the, the um, in, in your sympathetic response, your adrenals are pumping, everything's moving, your blood pressure is supposed to go up, right? It, it's like this, if you're walking through the jungle, right? Oh, look at this, I got, I got this right here. So, this is a little pet that my mom gave her baby. If you're walking through the jungle and this tiger jumps out of you, okay, I know this is cool, this tiger jumps out of you, you're gonna run. Or if you're sitting in your living room and you turn the lights on all of a sudden and it scares you, you're gonna run, right? And that puts you into this fight or flight response and your blood pressure should go up, that's a good thing. But when it's chronic, it's a bad thing. And that's where most of us are living right now. It can also be from uh, arteries that are inflamed, inflammation in the body from the food you're eating, the toxicities in our life, uh, just so many different levels, right? So I'm gonna go through the five things that you can do supplement wise, and then I'm gonna give you a couple bonuses at the end on um, things you can do, maybe not necessarily at home, but different people you can go to to get help with high blood pressure as well. All right, let's dive into this. Number one, when it comes to uh, high blood pressure, is get the inflammation down. So if you have an artery that should look like this, with blood flowing through here, inflammation will cause your arteries to look like this. Right, very closed up and raises blood pressure. It's simple plumbing. So you want to get that inflammation down. And one of the best things out there, and it's is a root called turmeric. 
And there's certain supplements that have things like turmeric, boswell in them. But if you just get turmeric and you do a daily, either once or twice a day, a turmeric drink where you put a cupful or a spoonful of turmeric along with some coconut oil because it absorbs better with fat and some maybe it's hot water or hot coconut milk and then some stevia it can actually it actually taste okay some people don't like it but it's really really good for you it decreases inflammation in your body hey you can also put these in capsule forms you can buy them in capsule forms too but you want to get a high quality turmeric and take that on a regular basis that will lower inflammation and get you from here to here and when your arteries go from here to here your blood pressure decreases Okay, the next thing is, I'm looking at my list, I got it written down back here so I can remember what I was going to talk about, is beet powder. So beet roots. And if you notice, these are really just foods. But these are foods that are really good for blood, blood pressure, the arterial walls, everything else. Beet root, that blood red beet root is extremely good for your arterial walls and your vessels and is amazing at helping blood pressure. Uh, you can get it in a powder form, add it to your smoothies, or you can eat boot beets on a regular basis. Or even better, you can juice them. Right, juice beets on a regular basis is really good for you too. So turmeric, beet powder. The other thing I like to use through this process is, uh, oh, this one's pretty simple. I talk about this one a lot because it's so good for all types of things in your health. Is omega three supplementation. So fish oils, right? And you want a good quality. Don't just go to you know the, the grocery store and get some fish oil. High quality fish oils. I can recommend all different types to you, but we sell certain types in our office that are we know it's gotten the mercury out of it. We know it's high quality and clean. But every cell in your body is surrounded by fat. And when your fat levels, your ratios, I'm going to give you a quick fat lesson here. So ratios in your body of fat, just with omega-6s and omega-3s, should be a 4 to 1 ratio. Meaning omega-6s should be at a 4 and omega-3s should be at a 1. So you actually want more omega-6 than 3. That 4 to 1 ratio allows for the cells to work properly. Now when this ratio gets out of whack like the average American diet, it looks more like a 20 to 1 ratio. And that 20 to 1 ratio is inflammation in the body. Like a, a, a good example of this would be potatoes or, or potato chips where we have a 20 to 1 ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fats. Very inflammatory, but it takes the cell wall and it clogs it up. It's like the stuff can get in, like your, the nutrients might get into the cell, but then the toxicities can't get out. It, it makes it to where things can't get out. If this ratio is off the opposite direction, which is very rare, but it can happen, if it's off the opposite way, let's say a 1 to let's say 8 ratio over here, then your cell walls will get leaky and let things out. So you want a good ratio of 4 to 1. It's not super simple. There's testing we do in the office to tell what your ratios are. But here's the deal. The average American diet is going to be so high in omega-6s. Take omega-3s and you're going to get you're going to be good. Okay? Unless you're someone that just extremely healthy, you're eating everything right, then maybe you'll want to go with a more of a perfect ratio type supplement. Turmeric beet powder, but this is really good, again, for getting inflammation down as well. Now, this one's less popular. It's called berberin, and I might be saying that wrong, but that's how I say it. And that's a, it's, it's a um, herb that helps, helps lower blood pressure levels. It's become more and more popular, and it's probably one of the best things that helps lower blood pressure. And you can look this thing up, but it has these certain things to it, and it also helps with other things like diabetes. It can help with your um, digestive system. It's, it's really powerful. And so I want to add that on there. I use this a lot with patients. So berberin. I can't do it. Like, right? So berberin. And then number five is L-arginine. And there's so many good things for blood pressure. And that's the thing is uh, L-arginine. So there's so many things for, good, for blood pressure and lowering it out there. And so it's, it's hard to pick the ones. But this is typically really good. L-arginine is amazing. It's really important for your blood vessel strength and health. So I like to add that in there. Um, some other ones are things like magnesium. I, ha I hate to miss that because a lot of times blood pressure issues are because of low magnesium and low potassium levels. Hey, get this. This is what happens. So, when, when, and I might be all over the place with this video today. Sorry. Um, hope you like my coat jacket. I just did a seminar today and I just figured I'd keep it on for this video. Uh, but it, uh, high blood pressure, when somebody gets high blood pressure, you know, they put them on a um, diuretic and, you know, it's simple plumbing. You do a diuretic, less fluid, and your blood pressure goes down. Problem is, is it depletes the body in magnesium and in potassium. Well, low magnesium and low potassium levels, guess what those cause? Well, those cause high blood pressure. So eventually, you're going to have to be on a stronger blood pressure med, and low magnesium and low potassium levels also cause heart problems. Your heart needs those, and it'll eventually cause a heart attack. 
So obviously it's not very good. So if you're if you are taking a blood pressure med, make sure you get potassium and magnesium in, and not not necessarily separately. You can get a a, a, um, a complete multi multi mineral can be good, or you can get certain types of um, magnesium. There's a good supplement you can get at any store, any health food store called Magnesium Calm that can really help um, lower blood pressure, but also help raise your magnesium levels um, from the blood pressure meds. Now these meds also come, we also see a lot of side effects from medications, right? Like headaches. I have a patient right now that just came in and, and, and they have ED from it, uh, erectile dysfunction. And it's not something a lot of people like to talk about, but since he's been taking the pill, that's what he's gotten. And his blood pressure is really high and I can't just say quit taking the med. So guess what we're gonna do to help him with his erectile dysfunction? I gave him a supplement and that hopefully might help a little bit, but more importantly, I'm gonna get his blood pressure down. I'm gonna find the cause and get remove it. So I told you I was gonna give you a bonus. One of your bonuses here, that's right, bonuses up down here. I don't know if y'all can see this low, but one of the bonuses is magnesium. Take that. And the other one is, you know, I'm not gonna forget the chiropractic adjustment. And you might say, well, how does a chiropractic adjustment, how does the spine and the and your blood pressure, what does that have to do with each other? And here it is, is that the upper part of your neck controls your, 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 your brain stem, controls your heart rate, your blood pressure, your hormones, and really every aspect of your body. It's where your parasympathetic nervous system is. If your parasympathetic nervous system is shut down, your blood pressure will stay up. So many times damage, like with um, Christopher Reeves, when he broke the bone in his neck and caused damage to his brain stem, Many times with damage to that parasympathetic nervous system, you can't digest food, uh, your breathing's off, your heart rate's off, your blood pressure stays up, because your body never relaxes and does those things. So there's actually a good research article out. You can, you can look it up, just Google. Um, on, it's on PubMed, or it, I think it's yeah, PubMed. And just Google this and, and put chiropractic and blood pressure on PubMed. It might be WebMD, but I think it's PubMed. But chiropractic and high blood pressure. And what the study showed that one chiropractic adjustment is actually stronger than two blood pressure medications combined. Now, we get, you get adjusted, boom, pressure off the nerve, the body, or, or, or irritation off the nerve, bones are moving again, body has the chance to relax, we block the stress response, now your blood pressure is down. And I mean, I've had no immediate results with this. Just the other day, we have a patient who, um, in this, actually the same one with ED, we'd check his blood, blood pressure before, it was pretty high, it was like 180 over 110, very high. And I would adjust them and it would drop 150 over 80. I mean, literally that quick. And it's because it has that quick response to it. Now it tends to go back because we're not, we're not necessarily correcting the problem. And so that's where some of the other stuff we do in the office helps correct the problem, like the exercises and retraining muscles and getting the spine in the proper alignment long term is how you keep a long term result with that. So that's what I want to talk about today, guys, was high blood pressure. It's such a big issue right now. The number one killer in our country is heart disease, and a precursor to heart disease is high blood pressure, and a precursor to high blood pressure is stress. And what we do in our office is to reduce the stress in your body, whether it's through chiropractic care, whether it's through nutrition, detoxing, exercise, peace management, whatever that is. So, hey, if you have high blood pressure, come check us out. We'd love to help you. So, hey, guys, leave comments, any questions you have. If you've been taking a blood pressure medication for a long time and you want help with it, and you just want to figure out how to get off of it, or you, let's say you've been, been trying different supplements and you want to have some advice on that, or you want to figure out how do you create a regimen for you, because I, I gave you some things that work, but everybody's different, right? So I, I can't give a broad statement and say everything's going to work for everybody. Everybody's different, so you do need individual stuff. So if you have any questions about that, you can comment, you can send me a personal message, I'd love to help you with it. Um, yeah, share this stuff. Uh, put put the love button. Apparently the love button's better than the like button. Imagine that. And uh, that's it. All right, you guys have an awesome day and we'll talk to you tomorrow.